Emilio Moraz Rodriguez. He's from Eastern Washington, the Tri-Cities area. Actually one of the largest metropolitan areas in the state of Washington. Only played one year of club soccer when he was scholarship with Three Rivers Soccer Club. Coach Matt Potter at Pasco High School saw him juggling a ball around the track at lunchtime his freshman year. He was working at Supermex. In just three years, went on to become the all-time assist leader at Pasco High School and helped his younger brother break the all-time scoring record and was a top drawer All-American. There's been a couple great articles written about Emilio and his two younger brothers and some of the adversity they've already overcome. Vince Sapienza with the story. One player who caught my eye was a then-sophomore who had more skill than someone his age should. The Pasco Bulldogs are undefeated in league play, and a big reason for that is the Miraz Rodriguez brothers. A lot of people can do those things when we go out here right now. Um, in the course of a game, he has done some things that I've not seen by anybody. They're all hard workers. They all love the game, uh, clearly, and if you watch any of them play, you see that. In six seasons as Bulldogs head coach, Matt Potter has never seen skills like this. You're watching Legend Highlights. Here we are in the Washington State capital of Olympia at Evergreen State College. A lot of people can do those things when we go out here right now. Um, in the course of a game, he has done some things that I've not seen by anybody. Now I've seen a scissor kick before, but not very often at this level. This ball actually takes a deflection and Emilio improvises perfectly. And look at the water jet trail on that hit. And that's difficult to teach. Let's go back to Pasco and take a look at some of his 29 career assists. He plays in a very headable ball, and it better be when you're trying to drop it into a guy who's only 5'9". And what you're going to see now is not just somebody who has really good control of the ball, but also knows how to draw defenders and create space for his teammates, and nobody's done it better in the history of the Mid-Columbia Conference. Straight ball, straight run, if it's on. Through the guy's legs. Goes on to Walla Walla Community College and becomes an NWAC All-Star. And I like a player that can see a pass, look it off, and then come back to it. That won't show up on the stat sheet. There's no doubt he's undersized at 5'8", 155. He's not the fastest player on the field, but then again, neither is, well, I'll let you guys draw your own player comparisons. Holds off defenders well here. Again, draws five or six defenders, sets up his teammates with a great opportunity. Emilio and his younger brothers spent their childhood back and forth between Mexico and Washington State. He had the opportunity to go and play with Pachuca's university level team in Mexico, turned that down in the hopes of a university scholarship here in the U.S citing some of the sacrifices his mom made to get them an education in this country. You can see the potential. The surprising athleticism and great body control on this header. Gets a scholarship to D2 Upper Iowa. And Coach Willie McGowan liked what he saw. No, Emilio really does have a fantastic strike on him. Um, you know, he's, he scored a very similar goal in the preseason, so we had every confidence he was going to strike it anyway. Um, you know, and for him to just to, to place it in there, right inside the front, uh, the, that back post, I mean, it was exactly like what he did that, that first game against Hawkeye. So, um, you know, we, we, we trusted in him to do that, and, you know, the, the, the boy delivered once again. Suffers an injury his junior year and transfers to Evergreen State College in the NAIA in order to be closer to and continue to support his family. We're at Oregon Tech here. And Emilio played inspired. This is one of the best games of his career. Three goals and an assist on the day. He's 
asking for this ball out in front for the counterattack. It comes behind him, that's okay. He takes it on his right foot and lets it spin him around, keep his momentum going forward. He sees this defender coming on his right, so he's gonna drive at him to try and freeze him there and cut him off. Then powers forward again quickly. Two on three, this right back's actually in pretty good position playing this only passing lane here. So Emilio drives right at the two of them, gets him to collapse, waits for him to turn his head, takes it himself. Short corner here gets Millie in a one on one. I like my odds. How he beats the keeper near post, we'll never know. Was in great position. So now you're going to see what respect looks like when you're out there on the wing. We got one, two, three, four, five guys all focusing on Emilio dribbling. He says, okay. Waits for his forward to get into position. Led the Cascade Conference in assists and was the newcomer of the year. 11th in the nation in assists per game and an NAIA All-American. And he always seems to have Didier Drogba on the other end of these crosses. We're always talking about players who can make their teammates better. I don't think there's any better example of that than Emilio Mraz Rodriguez. Does the success translate over to the next level? Hard to say for sure, but boy, he's a fan of the sport in the state of Washington. I'd sure like to find out. Soccer for me is my life, uh, it's my way out of a lot of stuff and I just love soccer, man. We do some uh, school, home, and then our life isn't the greatest, you know? But soccer always gives us that time to be the great, be the greatest, someone to look at you, someone to congratulate you and tell you how good you are, some good you did. And that's what I think really motivates us. When we're playing, we're trying to touch around there. Like I told you, play the forwards and then lay it back to the middle. And once we made a cut to the side, I mean, there was a foul. We stopped the ball, and then that's where I seen my chance. I, I was like, I, t I scored one before in the la other game, but I mean, I see my chance again, and I scored it. Back where I'm from, I'm used to taking my free kicks all the time, so I seen the goalie on his post, I seen the wall on this side. I seen an easy way to bend it, just put power on top, the ball curves in, and pretty easy. <laughs> I feel great, man. I mean, I'm here from Tri-Cities, Washington. And it feels great to, re I came here to represent and it feels great, man, scoring this is for them.